Uh, my name is Gabe Leonard. I make oil paintings, and I'm doing all the artwork for Season 20 for Sacred Fools, creating original oil paintings for their key art and promotional materials. Skullduggery is the musical prequel to Hamlet. It uh, starts about 30 years before the events of Hamlet and leads all the way into Hamlet's first entrance in the play. Uh, and it basically explores the love triangle between Claudius, Gertrude, and King Hamlet Sr. It's a dark comedy musical, and we find out a lot of uh, interesting things about uh, how the uh, folks and characters in Hamlet uh, came to be in their positions. It was a really tricky play for me to do a poster art for because there was so much going on there wasn't really a sort of like uh, scene that I could picture that would encapsulate the whole show. So I played on some of the, uh, what we would expect you would see from uh, a play that had Hamlet as a source. It basically started as an hour-long meeting with myself, uh, Michael Shaw Fisher, who's the writer and composer, and Gabe. And we sort of talked through the play. We talked about the themes of the play, the images that are quite evocative throughout the play. And then Gabe sort of went off. When we saw the painting for the first time, I think it kind of nailed and uh, solidified all of the ideas that we were, we were going for in the show, uh, in the music of the show, and uh, in the spirit of the show. I was using the, the symbolism of the skulls in the, in the imagery as it plays on what people might expect from a play that's about Hamlet. And so I saw that the numbers three came up a lot in sets of three, so I was playing on that. Behind the skulls, there's a rib cage and the rib cage uh, is lit both from the outside by what would look like maybe moonlight. And so you see the cooler light on the rib cage and on the inside there's a warm glow and that might be, represent the heart or the love interest of the story where it's glowing from the inside. I think it's always fascinating to compare and work with uh, artists in different mediums. And so to have a painter come into a world of drama and theater uh, and, and sort of talk through story, talk through characters, talk through uh, the dramatic arcs of the show uh, was a really great experience for, for all of us. So I'm trying to create all these sensibilities and feelings through the color palette and some of the structure of the play. It was a really cool experience. I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of uh, Gabe's work is for the rest of the 20th season for Sacred Fools because it was pretty awesome.